Hey guys, this here Ash is to and to review the Leapin Liquid Ninjago Movie Six Pack Ninja Mythix. So these are the boxes here. So and see, it's recommended for your six and up. And this is set 03044. And uh, there's obviously six of them. Uh, so you got A, B, C, D, E, and F. So this one here is Zane, and you got um, Cole. Kai and each one, each one of them comes with a side build and yeah I won't read out the pieces you can just read off them but yeah um so just I have Nia uh, Jay and also uh, Lloyd so these are the top of the boxes here so yeah uh, you can see it shows you the uh, the figures that uh, it comes with and yeah so uh, these are the sides here so yeah just showing you the front of the boxes and yeah and uh, the other side just shows you this uh, barcode thing and yeah um, the bottom nothing too special there but yeah so uh, the back shows you the uh, like the stuff that uh, it comes with so yeah like I'm surprised that uh, they didn't show the like the rest of the set somewhere but yeah uh, you have uh, Zane, Cole and you also have like their you also have their like um, unmasked faces on there and yeah like I think that's uh, pretty cool and you also have uh, Kai and you have Nia uh, you have Jay and also Lloyd. So uh, these are the instruction sheets for the um, each of the builds here. So yeah, they are they are actually pretty big, and yeah, nothing on the back, and yeah, they are they all just have white backgrounds, and yeah, just a pretty simple one. And yeah, this is the cold one, and you got the Kai one. And you got Nia's, and you got uh, Jay's, and finally you got uh, Lloyd, which yeah he has like the simplest build like ever. So yeah, they just um you know just printed all the stuff really big and yeah. But aside from now, that's it for the instructions. So first off for me fix, uh, this is Zane. So. Yeah, he comes armed with uh, this bow here in black, and yeah, it's a pretty nice piece to get. And yeah, he also has his uh, quiver, and yeah, um, so his um, his mask here is um, you know, like pretty good, uh, pretty identical to the offshore Lego one. And you have the ice print, I guess, on top here, and yeah, it. It removes just like the offshore Lego one, and under there you can see his um, face. But yeah, uh, so the torso printing, um, you know, looks really good. You got some symbols right there, and you got his kind of utility belt, and you know, you got like some kind of radio, I guess. I'm not really sure, but yeah, it does have some leg printing, looks uh, pretty good. And yeah, so the back you have his angry alternate expression, and uh, removing the quiver, you can see he got the secret Ninja Force uh, logo there. But um, yeah, aside from that, that's um, really, really it for Zane. So the next figure here is uh, Cole. So uh, he comes armed with uh, his hammer tough thing, which you know, obviously he has the uh, powers of uh, the Earth. So yeah, he can you know smash it to the ground, you know, kind of like Thor, I guess. But yeah. So, uh, you can see his uh, mask here, um, you have the, the, I guess, earth symbol, and, yeah, um, it, it also removes just, like, all the normal ones, and under there you can see you got his face, and, yeah, so, uh, he does have a little bit of side arm printing, kind of, there's kind of, like, his, um, bracelets, I guess, I'm not, I'm not, uh, 100% sure, but, yeah, so, uh, his suit here, um, you, you, you have all the symbols here, which um, I'm pretty sure it says uh, Earth in the Ninjago language. And you got this um, belt here, and yeah, a little bit of a leg printing. And the back, you got his um, 
uh, smirking face, I guess. Not really, but yeah. Uh, you also have his background thing, which has the uh, Secret Ninja Force logo. But um, aside from that, um, that's really it for Cole. The third figure here is um, Kai. So yeah, um, you can see he has uh, two of these uh, katanas at uh, his back, and you you also have this uh, holder here. And yeah, it's um it's the exact same color as the Ultra Lego one. And yeah, so uh, you got his monster with the um, fire symbol. I guess I'm not really sure, but. Yeah, let's remove it, and uh, you see you got uh, his face right here, and yeah, so uh, the torso printing, um, you know, you have the fire in Ninjago language, and you got the belt there, and yeah, the leg print thing, you have um, these kind of design, I guess, does look um, uh, pretty nice, but yeah, um, the back, you got his serious face, and removing that, you can see you got uh, the Secret Ninja Force uh, logo right there. But um, yeah, aside from that, uh, like that's um, really it for Kai. So uh, this is just a quick comparison uh, to the offshore Lego version of this. I only have the, um, uh, the Unmasked version, but yeah, they are pretty much the same. So yeah, you can see the front. Um, Lego has um like much more like um like brighter printing I guess and yeah Lee Pin has a uh, darker printing and yeah so this is the back here um pretty much the same they have pretty much like the um same tone I guess it's just that Lee Pin's uh, printing is um a little bit more thicker so it makes it look like that it's bigger but um yeah so that's it for the comparison. So, uh, this is, uh, Nia here, so, yeah, you can see, she's armed with this really long, uh, spear, which is, um, accurate to the offshore Lego one, and, yeah, uh, the molding and everything, it's really accurate, and you also have this bottom part right here, and, yeah, but, um, uh, so the figure itself here, uh, you can see that, um, you know, like she's kind of missing something, and that is her waist cape. And yeah, Leapin to totally skipped out on there, uh, on that, which really sucks. But um, yeah. So uh, you see, you got her monster with the water symbol, and let's uh, remove uh, that. And uh, you see, under there, you have her kind of angry face. Not really, but. Yeah, um, so the torture printing, uh, you have these ropes, you have the uh, water uh, in Ninjago language, uh, does have side arm printing, which is nice, and yeah, um, just has her kind of boots, I guess, not really sure what that is, but yeah, it, it's, um, it's, it sucks that she's missing the um, waist cape, but yeah, so here is her kind of serious face, and yeah, so the back you have you have the uh, uh, secret ninja force uh, logo and yeah, but um, as I run that, that's it for Nia. So the fifth figure here is Jay. So yeah, you can see he he comes armed with uh, this weapon, which I'm not sure what what it's called, but yeah, you have this metal chain and you also have this um, sharp end. I guess and yeah not really sure what it is but yeah still nice to get and yeah so on top of his mask you have uh, the lightning symbol and uh, removing that you can see uh, you got his face which is his kind of annoyed face but yeah so uh, the torso printing you have the lightning uh, word in Ninjago's uh, language and you have this strap with some pouches on it and you also have the uh, belt and yeah the lightning thing just have a little bit of, just has a little bit of uh, design there which 
yeah, looks um, nice, I guess. And yeah, so the back you have you have this kind of smiling face, and you have uh, the strap going over the um, Secret Ninja Force uh, logo. But um, yeah, like um, aside from that, uh, that's really it for Jay. So the final figure here is Lloyd. So yeah, he comes armed with his sword. Uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty accurate, just that uh, it doesn't have this uh, back part, which does kind of suck because they can make uh, the mold for it, but yeah, they just didn't add it in. So, yeah, um, on top of his mask, you got the kind of green symbol or word that I'm not really sure, but yeah, um, if you remove it, and see, you got his uh, face right there, and yeah, so uh, the torso printing, you got the green word in Ninjago language, and you have the belt, and you got a little bit of leg printing, pretty similar to Jay's, and yeah, um, does have side arm printing, and yeah, pretty similar to the Austro Lego one, which is great, and you got his annoyed face. And uh, you just have the uh, Secret Ninja Force logo at the back. But um, yeah, uh, aside from that, that's um, really it for Lloyd. So uh, this is a comparison for uh, Lloyd. Uh, and yeah, so uh, the right one is the Offshore Lego one. So yeah, um, like just like the um, Kai one, the Offshore Lego one has a a like a much lighter tone to it and Lee Pin has a much darker tone and a much um, thicker printing but um, yeah like overall they are uh, like they are pretty similar actually and yeah the one the one that I got doesn't have side arm printing because because it's from a really small set but yeah and this is the back pretty similar so yeah, but um, aside from that, that's that's it for the comparison for Lloyd. So uh, the first side build here is the one for Zane. So yeah, like if you see, uh, like this is not really like um, I guess accurate to what his powers are, but yeah, I guess um, they probably aren't like um, like basing the the side build off from the uh, from his um, powers, but. Yeah, I guess it's just uh, pretty random. I guess not. Um, yeah, so some of the side builds are not random. They are like sp uh, specific for the character. But um, yeah, I'm not really sure. So yeah. Um, so on top here, you got this really big fan tower thing, which yeah, it's not on a um, uh, Technic uh, connector piece or anything. It's just on this um, uh, translucent black headpiece, but. Yeah, you can kind of spin it around, I guess, but yeah, it's just there like permanently, and you got like um, three of these um, kind of sword pieces. I'm not really sure uh, where they are from, uh, but yeah, so uh, you have these uh, printed pieces, which is really nice to get uh, if you want to do a mock for a Ninjago movie, and yeah, it does look um, pretty good. You have like the dragon there, and yeah, you have this um, kind of arch, arch thing, and you, you also have some plants here. But um, yeah, like aside from that, that's really it for Zane. So the second one here is the one for Cole. So yeah, he has, um, I believe, he has the biggest base plate uh, for like um, the side build in the set and yeah and you know like I think this one is uh, pretty cool as well so yeah you have all you have these like um uh, uh, lamps uh, you know like street lamps and yeah they use uh, the uh, these translucent green <coughs> uh, pieces as the light which is a little bit weird but yeah still nice and you also have the spider web there which I'm not really sure where they put that but yeah you also have this arch here and yeah um you have the this barrel here and you also have this chest which does have some stuff in it and yeah so you can just open it up and you got an apple green apple and also a banana but um yeah like this other than that that's um really it for uh Cole's side bit.
so this is the side build for Kai. So yeah, you can see it's um, pretty similar actually to the Spinjitsu training set, like the background of it. And yeah, I think um it's um pretty cool. So yeah, um like first off you have this um like dragon piece which is really nice to get. It's um I'm not sure if it's some kind of rare rare piece in official Lego, but yeah, still nice to get. And you just have uh this uh like this kind of printed piece which is I believe from the set. Uh, I could be wrong, could be different. But yeah, so the sides here you, you have these uh weapons which uh are from the set. So you have this um this stick with this um claw and you have this one with this um punching hand and yeah uh, and this one you have to put like this which yeah, I'm a little bit worried about breaking the um, the clip piece, but yeah. And you also have the the scorpion and also this frog here, and yeah, like all those they are really nice to get, and yeah, like um the pieces here they are all pretty cool. But um, yeah, aside from that, that's really it for Sky's side build. So the next one here is the one for Nia. So. Yeah, she probably has like the smallest in in size uh, for the side builds, but um, yeah. So you have this kind of oriental style here, and yeah, I mean it, it looks some um, kind of like Japanese, but yeah, like you have the the arch roof, I guess, and yeah, and, like you also have the this um two of these like um uh, knives. Not, uh, like kind of sword pieces and yeah I'm not really sure what they are called but yeah they are they are on the roof here to make a design and yeah so uh like behind Nia here she has this um like printed piece which is um this weird thing and yeah I just realized I put this upside down but um yeah, it's supposed to be like this. I'm not really sure, but yeah, like they they tell you to put it like this. I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure, but yeah, you also have this um green thing here, which I'm not sure what it is, and you also have this um bird piece here, which um you know is a um a nice mode to get, but um aside from that, that's it for Nia's side build. So uh, the fifth one here, you have uh, the side build for J. So yeah, um, like you can see, uh, like you have this weird design here, which you know kind of it's kind of like a doorway. But yeah, he has probably like the most boring one out of all of the builds here. And yeah, like you have this design on top, and you have this um, fence piece, and you have this. Um, this roof part and yeah like they're on clip pieces so you can move them around and yeah like um, nothing really to this build but yeah like you you do get a parrot here though which is really nice um and I'm not sure if it's a parrot or a um an owl but yeah you also have uh, a spider which is um also nice to get but yeah, like, um, let's talk about that, that's it for Jay's side build. So lastly, this is the side build for Lloyd. So, yeah, this one is really, really simple. It's just, um, like, it just represents what he is in the, like, of the, um, uh, the elements, I guess, for the ninjas. And, yeah, he's green, but, um, yeah, like, it, it's kind of... Kind of a connection to a movie, I guess, because in the movie they say uh, he's the green f uh, because he's like he represents the nature, I guess. And yeah, you just have all these uh, leaves or like um, trees, I guess. Not really sure, but yeah, like they are all just like stacked up pieces. And yeah, I mean, they do look nice. And yeah, you can add them to a forest, I guess, but. Yeah, like, um, 
just nice to get a green base plate, I guess. But um, yeah, like uh, aside from that, that's it for all of the side builds. So overall conclusion uh, for the set here. So how do I think of it? Uh, well. I think it's um definitely a like a great set. Uh, like if you don't have all the ninjas and you know like you don't you don't want to get all the all the big builds. Um, you know to get all the ninjas. Uh, like the uh, temple of the ultimate ultimate weapon and also the um uh, destiny's bounty set. So yeah, I think it's a great set to get uh these ninja figures. It's just that they don't have their hair pieces, which does kind of suck. But they Leapin also made another uh, six pack set uh, for the ninjas, except that they have um, the Max as the side build, and they include their um, their hair and and also their uh, mask pieces. So yeah, I like I kind of regretted getting the set but like not really because you have all of these great side builds like yeah I mean these are probably like um useless I guess uh you know if I if I just put them like this but yeah if if I if I use the parts they are all actually very useful you have like all the printed pieces and they are all great and you have some rare pieces so yeah I think um this is a pretty good set. Like I mean, if you if you don't care about the side builds and you just want the ninjas and like all their full all of their uh, stuff, then yeah, I, re I recommend you getting the mech set rather than this one. But yeah, this one is um pretty good actually, and yeah, like the figures, their quality is um pretty good, and yeah, just that um, Nia's doesn't Nia's um a uh, waist cape. It's not included, which kind of sucks. But um, yeah, I like this around that. I think um, this set is a definitely great set, and I recommend you getting it if you don't have all the ninjas. So, buy for this set down in the description box below, along with all my social media pages down in the description. So, if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you very soon.